Keith moved out of town and was still dissing, saying Tuka, smoking Tuka, Jojo, Tutu, all this weird. This is what Keith was doing out of town. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Puka Anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more uncensored, a little more explicit, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, make sure you head on down to Instagram once again and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, matter of fact, before we even get into the video, right? Um, <laughs> let's speak on the fact that all these guys, right, are starting to turn into bloggers, YouTubers, you know, um, the same bloggers and YouTubers, uh, YouTubers that they claim was nerds, weirdos, and cap, and need to do something more constructive, etc., etc. Right? They're now doing the exact same thing. And um, actually, every time Billy put out a video, um, as of recently, he's doing some good numbers. So it's actually a good look for him. Um, he should have been started, but I just find it funny, man. Like I said it before in a previous video. Whenever someone judge you for doing something you want to do, never mind what they say. All right, let them catch up to you. Let that be an indication that you headed in the right direction. Start that business. Act on that new idea. Start that podcast. Start that YouTube channel. Do whatever you want. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Um, it comes a time to where people just don't believe in your vision because of the the capacity of their brain and how they feel what they could what they can't excuse me what they can't accomplish not you just think about steve jobs and all of them who were real innovators and think about if they would have listened to anybody right because at the end of the day they came out with something that was fun that 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 wasn't a thing they made it a thing you see what i'm saying between the ipad and the ipod and all that so like I say, you just got to be an innovator, man. Never mind what anybody say, but that's a whole nother story. Let's talk about Billionaire Black, right? Now, Billionaire Black made a video recently speaking on 600 Breezy, telling him to pull up to the rack instead of doing diss songs from somewhere else. All right. Billionaire Black responded saying that the objective is to move out, get money and all that good stuff. Now, the objective is, in fact, to move out. He's right about that. But also, he missed one part, right? The objective is to, in fact, move out. But that don't mean keep doing the same thing you was doing in the hood. Not only are you supposed to move out, but you're also supposed to move on. Elevate. Do bigger and better things. Don't stay stuck in that little bubble doing the same thing all your life. Because all that is going to eventually catch up to you. I know a lot of times guys seem like feel like they're invincible just because nothing happened to them over a long period of time but why even have that hanging over your head when you could simply move out get to a bag and mind your business never mind what they doing they still in the hood and if they not in the hood hey kudos to them you do you though you see what i'm saying now he mentioned chief keith moving out and still dissing saying that no one said anything to keith and that's bull crap because they definitely did <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Chief Keith, he got it worse than anybody, I believe. You know, they said something to him as well. They were saying Keith can't come back to the rack. He's this, he's that, he's dissing, he's scared, the whole nine yards. But let me tell you the reason why no one really bothers Chief Keith about it now. It's because the more and more you see people that stay in the rack actually dying, the more Keith looks like he's a genius. Think about it. How much guys from 2012, when things was actually real, still alive to talk about it? You see what I'm saying? It's literally only a handful, probably 95% of them that moved out of Chicago that's still alive. So 
they probably still alive like i said but 95 percent of them moved out of chicago and that's probably the biggest reason why they actually are still alive most of the ones that stayed they're not here anymore now um billionaire black made another good point though and this is why i always say take what people say with a grain of salt just because they may say a few things you disagree with it don't mean dismiss everything they say because Billy made a good point. He said, pay attention so you can realize when people are trying to trick you out your position. And he's right. Because peer pressure, if you aren't strong enough to realize it's actually peer pressure, can kill you or get you killed, literally. A lot of guys, right, done died over peer pressure subconsciously without them even knowing because they responded in a way to a situation based on how they feel their friends would expect them to rather than how they prefer to deal with the situation not them but their friends meaning i really don't want to do this or say this but i know if i don't say or do what my friends expect me to then they probably gonna think less of me they're gonna think i'm weak so i gotta carry this tough guy persona so when 600 breezes say something like yo shoot a video in the hood why why because let's be real, right? 600 Breezy isn't the only one that Billy got problems with. So if Billy does, in fact, come back to the hood and shoot a video, he got to watch out for not just 600 Breezy, but other guys that's on his head as well. So imagine him coming back to the hood to try to impress the fans or 600 Breezy, but then run into somebody else that he got problems with, and now he got to deal with that problem. On top of uh, potentially running to 600 Breezy or anybody else. What man with any sense is willing to go out and put himself in the line of fire when he don't have to? That's a young mindset to prove something that you don't have to prove. Do you know how stupid it would be of Billy Black to go to Chicago to shoot a video where he don't have to? And then something happened to him? <laughs> and the irony of it all, right, <laughs> is this. The same people that were saying he was scared to go back or would try to sit there, antagonize him, make fun of him, and peer pressure him. It's going to be the same when I say he's stupid for going back if something happened to him. How crazy is that, right? So he's right. Don't let anybody trick you out your position. Imagine Chief Keith being spotted in Chicago. You see what I'm saying? He'll have people he don't even know coming at him <laughs> because just cut because he's Chief Keith. When you're that big of a target, it's not just your ops you gotta look out for, but the dudes you don't even know that feel like they'll earn stripes just for doing something to you. So, of course, um, your boy Billionaire Black, he mentions the time where they seen Breezy in the mall, and of course he proceeds to let us know that he had the thing on him, and he could have did this or whatever. Now, I mentioned this in the previous video that it's a good idea that he didn't do anything because they were in the middle of the mall or, or a casino, he says, with a bunch of witnesses. They will both be in jail to this day. So he does make sense about not crashing out. But the problem I have with it is this, right? He's making it seem like the fans want him to crash out. And that's nowhere near the case. Between him and King Ella, they keep mentioning the time they caught Breezy in the mall and saying that they should have did this or they could have did this or they would have and X, Y, and Z. The fans are simply saying that they didn't do anything, not even a fight. Y'all were supposed to be the biggest of ops and y'all seen each other and spoke. Everyone left untouched and ran the social media to talk about it after once again. So the fans don't want you to crash out. The fans just tired of hearing the, the woulda, coulda, and shouldas on a situation that happened five years ago. Why is this still even a topic, man? You know, so like I said, man, um, I understand your boy Billionaire Black right now. He's hot. You know, he's trending all over YouTube, whatever. He's doing numbers every time he posts a video, uh, video right now. He's doing hundreds of thousands of views and X, Y, and Z. So I get it. You know, he's feeling himself probably. It is what it is. To be honest with you, I got no problems with Billion, uh, Billionaire Black. He's actually one of the few guys that's still in this drill culture that I actually rock with. But as a man, you know, we could all have our opinions about certain things. It is what it is. I'm still going to listen to his music. You know, it just is what it is. It is what it is. All right. So um, y'all jump in the comments. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. How y'all feel about your boy Billionaire Black talking about the situation again? 
How you feel about Breezy telling him he should have pulled up to the rack and shoot a video instead of being out of town dissing? Y'all let us know how y'all feel in the comments, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.